lads and lovelies. Hello, me lads and lovelies. Captain Edward Von Arkham and Lytton Guthrie Jackson coming to you from on board the MHS Hysteria. Last night was shanty night on board the ship. And as we were flying over Hawaii, an old favorite was in order. Although the last time we were in Hawaii, it didn't exactly end well. Well, it ended well. It just didn't start very well. Rather an understatement, that. I had set the eternity clock to the year 1640. And we emerged over the island of Maui in the region of Mauna Loa. Mauna Loa, Lytton. Mauna Loa. The weather was gorgeous! There wasn't a cloud in the sky, and the waters were blue and calm. So I fancied having a good old-fashioned hike to enjoy the weather. I thought it was to gather coconuts. That too. Little did we know, coconuts don't actually grow anywhere near Mauna Loa. Well, I can't know everything, can I? Anyway, he made me go with him to carry the coconuts that weren't there. And we were walking through the forests when suddenly... We were surrounded by a band of natives armed to the teeth. And before we could act, they had shot us both with tranquilizing blow darts. Knocking us out cold. When we awoke, we found ourselves bound and gagged. Which we so often do on the captain's coconut finding excursions. Oh, one other time! That's all! <laughs> we were nearly fed to sharks! And still no coconuts! We'll find those buggers someday. Anyway, we were bound and gagged. <laughs> yes. Dicky! <sighs> Dicky. And being led up the mountain at Point of Spear. And this time we were going to be fed to a damn volcano! Oh, would you have preferred sharks? <laughs> yes! I'll make a note of that. Anyway, they were about to throw us into the lava. So I used my topsy-turvy topper to generate a low-frequency molecular vibration signal to shake up the mountain a little bit to try and frighten off our captors. However, someone overestimated the amount of power that he needed and ended up causing the entire volcano to erupt. We got away, didn't we? After having my shoes burned off. After having my shoes burned off? Well, maybe you should have been watching where you were going! Anyway, last night we were flying over Maui, and as it was shanty night, there was one song that we had to sing. Which we would like to perform for you now. First, some ambiance. What? How'd you do that? Train secret. <sighs> Fine. Anyway, this is rolling down to old Maui. Enjoy. <clears throat> <laughs> It's a damn tough life, full of toil and strife, we weathermen undergo. And we won't give a damn when the gale is done, how hard the winds do blow. For we're homeward bound from the Arctic ground, with a good ship taut and free. Yeah! And we won't give a damn when we drink our rum with the girls of Old Maui. Rolling down to Old Maui, me boys, rolling down to Old Maui. Yeah! We're homeward bound from the Arctic round, rolling down to Old Maui. Once more we sail with a northerly gale through the ice and wind and rain. Them coconut fronds, them tropical lands, we soon shall see again. Six hellish months we passed away on the cold Kamchatka Sea. But now we sail with a northerly gale, rolling down to old Maui. Rolling down to old Maui, me boys, rolling down to old Maui. Homeward bound from the Arctic round, rolling down to Old Maui. And now we sail with a favorable gale towards our island home. 
our mainmast sprung, our whaling done, and we ain't got far to roam. Our stones of bones got carried away, what care we for that sound? A living gale is after us, thank God we're homeward bound. Rolling down to old Maui, me boys, rolling down to old Maui. Yeah! We're homeward bound from the Arctic around, rolling down. To old Maui, once more, rolling down to old Maui, me boys, rolling down to old Maui. Yeah! We're homeward bound from the Arctic round, rolling down to old Maui. Yeah! Yeah! Mm. Well done. Yes. Are you, are you just going to leave us like this? Well, that's all the time for today. What the hell was that? Just the bell. I hate the bell. We hope you enjoyed our song. Until next time, stay mad, my duckies. Explain to me why in God's name you thought coconuts grew in Mongolia. That's where you'd least expect them to be. The perfect hiding place. <sighs>